welcome to my youtube channel my name is michael Wambua. so today i'm going to take you through the fill tool how to create custom fields how to edit fill how to add fill in polygons and i'm also going to take you through mm, how to manipulate different fill uh, how to interact with fill on different angles so to get started if you still if you're new to this channel please subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, like this video we also have other videos on akikad we have uh, a playlist on akikad beginner to pro series so let's get started so where do we find fill in akikad fill is a documenting tool so obviously you will find fill in the document so you need document documenting tool fill tool as well you can find fill on the left side of your hockey card fill is a documenting tool so this is the toolbox we have design tools we have viewpoint and then we have document so under document is where we have the fill tool so let's interact with fill where do we start fill here is a 2d drafting uh, element so um, we start with the dialog box for fill so here is fill the fill tool on different so um, for example let's choose um let's choose uh, the fill category so we have uh, to cover a service uh, used for appearance used um, uh drafting fill simple to did drafting fill then we have the cut fill these are going to use especially when you cut sections this one is where it's going to apply then this one is also a cut fill it's also used uh, to show the elements construction elements and physical properties so in this case let's start with the drafting fill and i'm going so after choosing that let's come here so there are solid fields gradient fields vectorial fields and as you can see we have materials this on vectorial fields we have different materials that we can show these are different materials different materials that we can show so let's start with um, this one the solid field um let's eat okay mm. so as you can see i've started with a line and i can move the reason this is happening it's because of the geometry method i've chosen this is the polygonal then we have a rectangular then we have rotated a rectangle so this uh, is going to show uh okay L let's let me choose the rectangular one and i'm sure then change this let's use color let's use this so and i choose this method so so this is 25%. Then if we adjust it to 50, we are going to see. So this shows different color concentration. Different co uh, color concentration. So that is still at 50. Then when we change to 75, that's how it looks like. So now that we have covered that area of uh, the solid solid fields, this uh, airspace it's uh, it's usually it's usually blank. Then we have the foreground. You can see the concentration is a little bit higher. So let's go to linear the gradient fields so with the gradient fields you're going to notice 
something that I'm sure you like. So let's choose this one, the linear one. So mm, I think I've messed up somewhere. So that is the linear. So how does the linear work? So the linear shows a different color concentration as you move. So for example, if I choose, the, I move the, the line, you've seen how different, how the color concentration or the gradient concentration is moving. So I can also choose to drag this to this side. So you can also see that the brighter this side is uh, changing then we have um, we go again to fill we use the radio gradient fill so this one is linear this one is moving on a line then the radio gradient fill is going to move in um, so let's So here we have it. So how does this one work? So we have the smaller circle, then we have the outer circle. So the, we are moving the outer circle. Then we have left the inner circle, so we can also choose to move this. I hope you can see the difference. You can, so this one is called the radio gradient fail. And I hope you've, you've seen how to manipulate that. So this one is the, so we have worked with this. So now let's get to the real thing. Okay, so let's delete this. So actually I want us to add some construction grids. Okay, I'm sorry, construction grids so that we can limit the space we are working on so that we don't have too big space that we can't uh, manage. So right now, I want us to go to, I want us to go to vectorial fields. So with the vectorial fields, you can see they have different materials. These are different construction materials or different elements that you can use either in the, to show interiors or um, sections. Because you saw we have, uh, currently we are working with the 2D field. You saw we have cut fill where you fill on sections. So in our case, I want us to to work with the like for example, let's use the carpet. So that is the carpet fill. So let's change this to a green. So let's try. So that's how the carpet looks. Let's try another material like, um, let's try another material like hood. That's how it looks like, right? So I want to show you something else where you can, so I want us to draw something that is polygonal. So you've seen, it's still hard in the field. So we can still this change this field. You can, 
can just highlight then you change the field so for example let's use the tire so you see how it looks like so despite the area or the uh, how you're building or your you despite how you have your you've drawn how you how have you drawn your floor plan you can still add fills so for example if it's the if the surface area you want to add the fill it's so it's so complex you use the backspace the, the space the space bar it's it's called the magic wand so when you hit that particular area you want to add the fill you backspace it then you hit the the fill the fill that you want to add then you're going to add in any irregular space you're going to be able to add your fill in any irregular space so now let's go to the main part i want us to do I want us to do the I want us to do to create a custom fill. So let's come, let's use geometrical method, this geometrical method. Then I want us to to go to the setting dialog. Then which kind of so I want us to create so I want us to create a tile. So I've chosen that then okay so where do we create custom where do we create custom tiles so under options this it's like uh, it's the like a bank where we have all uh where you can this is like a bank where you can set the conditions you want to work uh, on or you can change different elements and different things so because we want to change a certain element which is the fill which is an element so we come to fill so as you can see we have this so i want us to create a new we want us to create a custom tile so we can either create this kind of we can either create just like this so we can either just uh, create from like we just edit the millimeters like so let me let, let me edit the millimeters to around 450 by 450 okay so let's go to here where is the copy so it, the copy is here So it's that one so i want us to do something else so hit there i want us now to import an image then after importing that image i want you to be able to create a colorful fill for your work so how do you create a colorful fill so we are going to import an image so we still go to option element attributes then fills so under fill we're going to say create a new one but this one is going to be an image fill so it's okay so what do you do we browse you can either browse from the archicad library 24 or uh so we're going to hard directly from the pc so let's do this so here is my images my images under pictures and let me see video projects so let's choose this one okay actually this field has been very 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 easy to manipulate but so you set different millimeters right here so when you set this one they are connected so let me say i had 300 so this one is also going to change so let's see how that how that looks like so let's add 400 let's add 450 
so because actually we chose a pattern that it is easy to is easy to replicate but there are times that you are going to choose patterns that you have to re-edit them so how do you edit them so as you can see we are editing you can see the pattern is changing so you have to align the pattern so you can see this is the best actually it has it has intertwined all of them to something that is awesome so let's eat okay so let's do the fill so where is the new fill so it's here the image fill as you can see it is very 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 small the patterns they are there but they are very very small so what you can keep doing you can either edit from here you can edit uh, can go to options uh, where are the other options uh, let me attribute them fill then you can edit this even to further 2000 you can edit to 2000 so let's see you see now it's your your feel is going to be a little bit more clear so thank you very much i've shown you how to create custom fields i've shown you how to edit fields i've shown you how to do fields in 2d and how to manipulate the field documenting tool from the setting dialog how to create uh, and how to do different things so if you like this video please uh, you can support us on patreon patreon is where you support youtube creators uh, to keep producing good and better content for you so i'm going to link, leave a link below uh, in the description area of my patreon account where you can support me from as little as five dollars so thank you very much for watching this video